Hi, Hi everybody. everybody, we are back again yet with another financial literacy video. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Basetana and I am Renee. So today we'll be talking about we are basically doing a follow-up oh. video. Uh as per last week video, we were talking about 10 reasons why it's important to have a will. So today we are talking about what not to include in your will. So we're gonna be listing five things not to include, you know, the most important things that we think that maybe there might be up there, mm. but today we are only stating five things that you should not include in your world so stay tuned as we go into this video yeah so if you're returning sabi thank you guys for returning back if you're a new sabi thank you thank you for the love and welcome to the family please do not forget to hit like comment um share this video and yeah let's yeah. get down to this video, video. so the five reasons that uh, the five things you rather that you should not include in your will are the following number one your joint property so for instance if me and my twin sister here we decide to buy a house together and we join forces and we say we're going to bank we're going to ask for a loan and it's going to be a joint property Indeed. the minute i die or she dies the other share my share will go to her regardless what the will says so automatically so automatically it happens that way so whether in my will i have said that that this property will go to my niece my nephew my brother my father or whoever but this uh, joint property share will overrule the will and go directly to the surviving partner so be really careful about that when you are in a joint property the second thing you should not include in your will is property in a living trust um, most parents will put up a trust for their children and so on so if you have put your property your house in your children's name and then you go there by the will that no my will will be my and house. my house will be left with my husband this trust will overrule the will and then the house will go to your child so it goes to the beneficiary regardless what the will says so i believe if you have a lawyer who is drafting your will these are the kind of things he should advise you mm, on yeah and the third thing you should not include in your will is your retirement plans and your pension fund um just like the two that i've mentioned in your retirement plan and your pension fund you do state the beneficiaries and it can not only be um it's not necessarily one beneficiary you can say um what well, this person gets 30 percent the next get 30 percent then the other get um 40 percent so you can have as many beneficiary as you like um so even if in your will you state that um i would like my pension fund to be given to this person nope as long as that person you did not give the head the beneficiary he will not inherit that pension fund so be really really careful about who you put in your beneficiary and what you write in your will yeah this those two should actually whatever uh, anything that uh you Has put a nomination a, a beneficiary person it shouldn't be included in, in your, your will, will yes. because that thing will overrule the will mm -hmm. so that is basically it mm -hmm. the fourth thing that you should not include in your will is funeral instruction now we all know that a person passes on today we start on with the funeral arrangement and all those things no lawyer will come in the house on the first day that the person has passed on to say that okay here's a will uh, this person has written uh funeral instruction no it doesn't work like that the will will come in a later stage maybe after a week or after a month or whatever it is so leaving a uh, funeral instruction in your will it it's totally it's a waste totally of time. a waste of time because nobody's gonna see that probably they're gonna do something very different to what you have stated so it is just better to talk to your family to say that when i die maybe i would like to be cremated i would like uh just a to have a husband. small ceremony 50 mm -hmm. people i don't want the hoo-ha thing i don't want this nonce i don't want whatever whatever you know all those things so you should just talk to somebody who you're close to who you know that they're gonna be part of the funeral arrangement oh you can even with your lawyer prepare a separate document where you say your funeral mm -hmm. where you state your funeral wishes and it will not be part of your will but it will be another um document where you live with your lawyer and that the lawyer immediately when he passes on will give the document to your family mm -hmm. so that they can read what you had wished and be able to implement it yes um and then the fifth thing that you should not include in your will i think 
this is this the most is hideous obviously. thing like <laughs> uh illegal things like oh god i've got drugs stashed where 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 mm. there was this house i was doing illegal things there are guns mm. they've got i've got a stashed amount of money of two million mm. um buried uh, in where 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 so yeah this person may take it may take illegal stuff anything illegal mm. you cannot include in your yes. bill so in your will the, so the court will not give that away it's you will not legal so you yeah. will lose those things you will lose because you already it's illegal and you're implicating yourself whether yes. you have passed on but you're, you're implicating the other person, person that person. you're saying they should have those things. things so the court automatically will say oh this person was involved with your uh, wrongdoings. wrongdoings and they must say okay let's go question this person let's arrest this person let's do an investigation what's going on mm. you know you know the law is the law so any illegal thing any illegal gift into say i've got this i've got this no yeah. So yeah, those are the five things you should not include in your world. This was a short video. It was a follow up for the last video that we did. So I guess that one is part one. This is this part, part two, two. In yeah. a way. So yeah, these are the things we really wanted to talk about. Um, a will. Uh, we really hope you have considered having a will and you have contacted your lawyer, your bank, or you have that of drafted the will by yourself but we really hope you are but, taking a step but the most important thing is knowing what is the will, will and uh, why how it him. works mm. uh doing it it can come at a later stage when you know that i really need to do it mm. now i've got family i've got kids i've got mm. uh, properties i've got this and this i've got this because what's this. the point of, of of doing a will and the only the, the only thing you're leaving is ten thousand no it's, it's, yeah you know because <laughs> maybe some of us if we die now like we don't have any money we we don't have any man we don't have any 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 dependent like we don't have properties we don't have we don't have we don't have we don't have things you know you know <laughs> so yeah but yeah guys is hope you enjoyed this video and please yeah. do not forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification button please share the video with your family and friends and please do come back for another video and guys also please follow us on instagram re, re underscore bar underscore twins so it's river twins river twins but with underscores mm. yes yeah thank, thank you so, so much, much guys yes. bye, bye.